going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. So today we are going to be talking about everyone's favorite problematic platform aka TikTok, my favorite platform at the moment honestly. And so a couple months back I wanted to see if I was able to grow a following on TikTok without having any kind of viral video or using any kind of like promotion features that they have on the app in order to push your content out there. And so around end of November, early December last year I wanted to start posting on TikTok to see if I could do this if this was a feasible thing. So I was able to take my following from 74 followers when I started all the way to 10,000 followers by the end of December. So in a one month time frame, I was able to go from 74, so basically scratch, to 10,000 followers. So I wanted to show you guys what I learned along the way, what worked, what didn't work. And if you're interested in that, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and that way maybe more people will see it and more people can grow and thrive on social media since social media be popping right now. And if you want to see more of my scatterbrain antics, feel free to subscribe as well. I make all kinds of fashion, fitness, lifestyle, and nerdy content. So if you're into that, hit that big red button for me. But let's get into my tips. Let me show you the ways of how I basically gained 10,000 followers in one month. So, first tip that I have for you is make the first two seconds of your video, yes, you heard that right, two seconds of your video engaging and eye-catching because when someone is scrolling mindlessly through their TikTok feed, if your video is not interesting in those first two seconds, they're just going to keep on scrolling. The first two seconds are what catches someone's eye and we have tiny pea brain attention spans nowadays, so two seconds is basically all you get to make an impression on someone and make them stop scrolling and actually watch your video. And let me tell you, watch time on videos is very important, very key, so you you want people to actually stop and watch your entire video that way it gets pushed by the TikTok algorithm and more people will see it so make the first two seconds of your video engaging and make it make people want to watch it catch someone's eyes whether that's whipping in to a scene whether that is a close-up shot of your face whatever or a caption captions work really well too but yeah any of those just make the first two seconds count because that's all you're gonna get. It's like a first impression, two seconds. My second tip kind of ties into that first one, which, you know, I said, make it a close up of your face. And that's because people are conceited and they like looking at other people and they like looking at faces. This is just basic psychology, literally psychology 101. People like looking at other people's faces. So if your first shot is a close up of your face, people are more, what am I doing? Am I voguing? Hello? If your first shot is a close-up of your face, you are going to have more people stop and actually watch your video rather than if you are looking at, I don't know, a tree, nice field of grass. I'm sure it looks pretty, but people are more likely to stop on a human face than they are some random object. Tip number three that I have for you is trends. Trends are fantastic, beautiful. Obviously, if there's a trend, hop on it if you can, if it fits what you're trying to do. However, I would tweak it ever so slightly so that it shows off your individuality and your personality. Because if you're just doing exactly the same thing that every single other person is doing, you're not gonna be able to stand out in the crowd and therefore people are not gonna stop and watch your video if they just watch 10 other videos that are exactly like it. So try to tweak the trends just a smidge just so that you can stand out from everyone else and that way, once again, you get more people watching and the more people that watch your video all the way through, the more likely the algorithm pushes it out to even more people and you'll get even more views and interactions action with your video. Tip number four that I have for you is to be consistent. So this is probably the hardest thing for most people because obviously most of us have more than just TikTok as a job. If you're lucky enough to be able to do TikTok full time, congratulations, I would like your life. But Make sure that you are consistent. Stay on a consistent schedule. Find time to be able to post at least once a day, Monday through Friday. So that is five videos a week. If you can, minimum, try to post at least once every single day. That way that you are keeping your content coming and the algorithm is going to sense that you're producing content, which it likes because TikTok is a business after all and it likes when you're producing content because it keeps people on the app. So the more consistent you are, the more likely your video are to be seen because the algorithm likes consistency. 
Also, make sure you try to post around the same time every single day, just because your audience is gonna get used to that post time and they're gonna expect your video to come out around that time and it'll be like a routine for them. They'll be like, oh, time to check, see if my favorite creator posted something new. So be consistent. Me, personally, I posted twice a day for Monday through Friday. Actually, I was a little insane and I actually posted seven days a week. I'm not gonna lie, seven days a week, twice a day. And that's a big feat. So that's why I say Monday through Friday at least because those are the most active days. Weekends can be a little iffy since people are out and about and not so much on their phones, but try to post at least once a day, Monday through Friday. Or, and if you're really into it, try posting twice a day, kind of like midday and in the evening when people are getting off work or out of school and midday is kind of like lunchtime. So more people are on their phones. That's what I shot for. And I seem to have a lot of, a, a lot of success being able to do that. So if you have time twice a day, perfect, but at least once a day, Monday through Friday, and make sure that you're posting at a consistent time as well. Tip number five. I am not okay. <laughs> Tip number five that I have for you is to find a niche. And by that, I mean like find a specific theme or genre that you really like or a target audience and make sure that you curate your content around that niche. For me, for example, if you check out my TikTok, it's all about anime. This is my My Hero Academia shirt. It's all about anime because I really like anime and so do a lot of other people. So I, that's another reason I was able to go grow quickly is because I centered a lot of my content around that and therefore the algorithm picks up on that and it sends it out to people's for you pages that like similar things to anime or to whatever else I'm posting, makeup, hair, whatever. I have like hair videos on there, makeup videos, cosplay videos that all kind of center around like that same niche. So the algorithm picks that up and sends it to people's for you pages that are interested in things that are like that. Tip number six that I have for you is to practice your editing skills, your lighting skills, and your filming skills. Obviously TikToks that are a lot more appealing to the eye are going to get a lot more views than say something that's poorly lit or something that's not as clean when it comes to editing. For example, TikTok is really big on transitions. A lot of people are doing really cool transitions, but if your transition's not super smooth, sometimes it kind of Meh. doesn't do as well as if you make sure that that transition's really clean. I do most of my editing in the TikTok app. It makes it really easy because you can like refilm things. You can only, you can literally go and <laughs> refilm just certain parts of your TikToks to make sure that if something is just not like working, but you only need to tweak one part of it, like you like the first part of your video, but not the end, you can just change that part. So mess around in TikTok, get a bunch of drafts, <laughs> and then just keep like editing it until it looks clean and crisp. Get a little ring light. They literally have them on Amazon for like 20 bucks. You can literally get like a mini one that goes on your phone too. So you don't even have to get like a big one if you don't want to spend the money on it. Unlike me, I have literal three lights behind <laughs> the camera right now because I'm crazy, but yeah, literally invest in a tiny ring light that can attach to like your phone, invest in the, invest the time in editing your videos to make sure they look nice and I don't know, make sure that your, your setup is aesthetically pleasing. Make sure it looks nice. Make sure it looks clean, cute, or whatever vibe you're going for, but just aesthetically pleasing. Editing, lighting, and filming. Just make sure it's all looking good. And then that way people are more likely to watch your video because it looks nice to look at. <laughs> Tip number seven that I have is to make sure that your videos are really good quality content, but make sure that they're concise. So when you are first growing, it's best to keep your videos in that 10 to 15 second range, just because TikTok's kind of still feeling you out and seeing how you do in the algorithm basically. So I know there's like a three minute feature in TikTok right now, but people aren't really likely to finish that entire video if they don't really know that much about you as a creator just yet. So if you're still growing, it's best to keep the video short just so that you can keep your watch time long. I've mentioned watch time a couple times and that's because it's really important. If the algorithm senses that people are swiping away from your video in the first like two seconds, then they're not gonna push that video to as many people because they're not gonna think people enjoy watching that. But if you keep your videos short, people are more likely to watch the full 15 or 10 second video that you made, which means that it's more likely to push that video to more people because it sees that people are watching the video all the way through, which is also kind of hard to do if you start off with three minute videos at first, because I know me as a person, I never stay till the end of the three minute videos. And that's even with giant creators out there. So. It's just our attention span. So it's best to keep your content short, sweet, and to the point, especially when you're growing. So that way you can get as many views as possible because people are actually gonna be watching it all the way through. And sometimes people even watch it a couple times because maybe they missed something. So it's kind of like a hack there. So 
keep them short, concise, not like stupid short, but <laughs> 10 to 15 seconds is like a good sweet spot. Tip number eight that I have for you is to engage with your audience, engage in the comments, comment back, leave the first comment and make it a question so that people can start a conversation or they can add in to whatever they whatever you posted as the first comment, but make sure that you're liking their comments, make sure that you're commenting back. Just engage with your audience because that's gonna help boost your, like whether the algorithm pushes your video as well. Engagement is huge on this app. So make sure that you're engaging with people, make sure you're liking their comments and be nice to people. I mean, TikTok kind of sucks sometimes. People are mean, so be nice. Number nine that I have for you is make sure that you are creating content that you actually like. Like I said, my niche is anime. And I actually really like anime, which is why I find it really easy to create content on there and come up with a bunch of different video ideas and cosplays and hairstyles or whatever I feel like doing that day because it's actually a genre that I really like. If you are making content for something that you like, it's going to be a lot easier to be consistent. It's going to feel less like a tedious task to post more often in order to grow rather than doing something just because you think it's going to do well on TikTok. Like if you're not a dancer, then don't post dance videos. <laughs> I tried posting dance videos before and that's why I had 74 freaking followers because it wasn't genuine, it wasn't me, I wasn't good at it, and I didn't like doing it, so I wasn't consistent about it, so I didn't grow. But when I started doing anime stuff, then numbers happened because I actually enjoyed it and you could tell that I enjoyed it because the content was better because I was doing something that I liked. So it's really important. Just if you're, when you're picking a niche, just make sure you actually like what it is and don't just do it because you think it's gonna give you views. And lastly, Tip number 10 that I have for you, the final one is key in keeping your sanity, especially if you have a job besides TikTok, that is pre-film your videos. Batch them, film like three, four in one day so that you don't have to make a new video every single day because that's gonna burn you out. If you batch your videos into one day and you just have like content like stored up so that you can just post at the same time every day, golden, do that. It's gonna make your life so much easier. That's what I did. I literally would film like, I still do film like three, four videos all at once and then that way I don't have to worry about having do am I gonna have time or is the lighting gonna be weird or is this gonna look bad or whatever or am I gonna look like I'm dead after work and have to redo my whole face of makeup in order to film a 15 second video no just pre-film it's gonna save your sanity it's gonna save you time pre-film that's all I gotta say so those are my tips that literally helped me go from having 74 followers to 10,000 followers in one month. So literally a nine, a 9,000 follower increase in one month without having any kind of paid promotions and without having a viral video. So if you found this video helpful, let me know down below in the comments, leave your tips down below, especially if you have a bigger following than me. And if you want to creep my TikTok, if you're into the same kind of stuff that I am, whether that's hair or anime, whatever, uh, all my socials are down below. So feel free to <laughs> stalk me there as well. Say hi, hello, say that you came from this video. And yeah, remember to be nice when you're on TikTok because it's really annoying when everyone's mean on there. And I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Peace out.